And now, boys and girls, the further adventures of Big John and Sparky. Today's chapter is entitled, Off to the Races. Our good friend Yuki Butch of the taxi cab driver had invented a new invention in his inventing laboratory on Plug Nickel Farm. <laughs> he invented a new type of motor or fuel or something, and he wants to test it out in his specially designed racing car at the Indianapolis 500 Memorial Day race. Strangely enough, he got an invitation for the tryouts, and um, we're on our way there now. As today's chapter begins, we begin a new book entitled The Big 500, and uh, Sparky and Mayor Plumfront and I are down at Union Terminal in Cincinnati, Ohio. Hey, John, there sure are a lot of people down here at Union Terminal to be so early in the morning. Why, of course, Sparky. Trains arrive and leave here at all hours of the day and night. Of course, you also got to figure on the commuters, you know. They're coming into the city to go to work and going out to other places, too. Mostly coming in. But all in all, this here train terminal is the hub of our grand and glorious city. Always activity here, even when the city is asleep. I wonder if Yuki's here yet. Well, I should imagine he is. After all, he came down here with the men who were hauling his racing car and yours. He said he wanted to make sure that the cars got on the train that's going to haul them to Indianapolis. Oh, yes. Yuki's been down here a long time there, Sparky. That train that's taking the racing cars to Indianapolis left here at quarter to seven this morning. Uh, where are we supposed to meet Yuki? On the train. You see, they let the passengers on board the train port poles out of the station. <laughs> Come think of it, the better. <laughs> Hey, anyway, Yuki said he'd meet us in the lounge car. Well, here we go. Well, boy, just think. <laughs> On our way to Indianapolis. Can't believe it. And Yuki's going to drive in the big Memorial Day auto race. How about that? Yeah, how about that? How about the fact that you're going to be driving that little midget auto race that they're having in that race the day before the big race for the little kids between 9 and 12 years old? <laughs> how about yeah, yeah. that? <laughs> yeah. Boy, how about that? Yeah, we're well, proud of it. Well, here we are at the track entrance. Now, let's see if we can take a look at the board and see what track our train is oh, leaving hey, on. Oh, um, hey, the magazine stands. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um, while you and uh, Mayor Plumfront are looking to see what uh, track our train is leaving on, hey, John, can I get some comic books to read on the train? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, I'd appreciate it if you'd pick me up a morning newspaper. Here's a half a buck. Get yourself a couple of comic books if you like and have them on me and then bring me the paper, okay? Okay. All right. Now, let's see. Uh, take a look up on the board there and see what we can see. Leaving on track 12 at 8.30, train number 12, the agent with Cone Riley for Indianapolis, Lafayette, Kankakee, and Chicago. The agent with Cone Riley on track 12. Well, <laughs> guess that answers your question for us. <laughs> Just when I spotted it on the board there, that fella came on and made the announcement. Here comes Sparky, just in time, too. Well. Did you find out what the uh, track our train is leaving on, Big John? Yeah, we were just looking up on the board. Now, I guess you heard the announcement, though. Let's see. Now, where's yeah, track? Yeah, track 12. 12. There it is. There it is, right over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, come on. Let's go get aboard, huh? Yeah. Come on. Let's get out of the train. <laughs> Looking train, all right. Stainless steel sides. Is that what that's made out of? Stainless steel, Big John? Mm-hmm. Yep. This is the Riley. Great. Right. Is, is this by any chance our train? Yep, the Riley. That's the one we're looking for. May as well go aboard, don't you think so, Mayor? May as well, Buster. Come on, lad. Up you go. Okay. Uh, is this the launch car we're going into? That's right, Sparky. Old Yuki will be waiting inside. Go ahead, Mayor. After you. All righty. Here we are. Go ahead, lad. Just turn to the left and go on back into the car. Hey, Yuki's in there, all right. You can see him through the door. Yep, there he is. Just push the door open, man. Push the door open. Go on in. Boy, hey. Ooh, this is a good-looking car. Look at all the soft chairs. Hey, can you see how soft this carpet is on the floor? Hi, Yuki. Hi, we finally got here. Oh, fine. Howdy, Big John. Howdy, Mayor. Well, finally got here, did you? Yep. 
All set to take off for Indianapolis, Indiana. Did you get the race autos on the train that's taking them up there, Yuki? Oh, yes. Everything's fine, Sparky Lad. Race autos are halfway up to Indianapolis already. (laughs) How long will it take us to get to Indianapolis? Well, the best way to figure that out would be to look at the timetable. You have one, don't you, Mayor? Yep, got one right here in my suit pocket. Let me get it out here and take a look at this here timetable and see what train, what time this here train pulls into Indianapolis, Indiana. You know how to read one of those there timetables, Mayor? What do you mean, do I know how to read one of these here timetables? <laughs> of course I know how to read one. What do you think I am, a dumb snoot or something? Well, I don't know. I never could read one myself. Reading the railroad timetable is about as complicated as trying to fold the automobile road back, back the same way as it belongs. Oh, for goodness sakes. That's just because you're such a dumb snoot. <laughs> yeah, now let me here take a look at this thing. Old lady Serge is down at the ticket office at the Dixie Terminal. I uh, marked off a page of our schedules on, you see. Now let's see where There's a little tab sticking up uh, out of the top of it, Mayor. Oh, is that yeah, the page? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, that's it. Uh, all right, here we go. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> page 32. Cincinnati to Indianapolis in Chicago. Table number 10. Oh, table number 20. Ah, here we are. Now, let's see. What's our train number? Uh, we're number three, Mayor. Number three. All right, here we go right down here. First call. See, lad, up here at the top of the column, you see that number three? Now, uh, that's our train right there. You see that? Uh, oh, yeah, under that it says uh, daily AM 8. Thirty. Uh, right. Is that the time we leave here? Right, right, right. Now you see this here column here. This tells you what towns we go through on the way. We leave Cincinnati at eight thirty. Go through Cleves, Lawrenceburg Junction, Guilford, uh, Weisberg, Sunman, Morris, Batesville, uh, New Point, uh, Greensburg, Adams, Saint Paul, Walden, Shelbyville, Fairland, Acton, and we arrive at uh, Indianapolis. 108 and 9 tenths miles from Cincinnati at 9.20 a.m. 9.20? And we leave here at 8.30? You mean we go over 100 miles in less than an hour? Wow. Yep, looks that way, lad. <laughs> this here James Whitcomb Riley is a fast train. Wait a minute, Mayor. Ain't he? Uh, the Riley is a fast train, but we won't get to Indianapolis in less than an hour. Well, now, Buster, we do so, too. <laughs> Says right here on the timetable... I never could read one of those there things. If you ask me, Mayor, neither could you. <laughs> I know this here train can't go that fast. Well, I beg to differ with you. Here it is right here in the timetable. Yeah, and look, Mayor. See what it says next to the time when we pull out of the Cincinnati Terminal. You see those little initials there, E.T.? Yeah. What's that mean? That means Eastern Time, Eastern Standard Time. But notice down here where we pass through Lawrenceburg Junction, it says C.T. You know what that means? C.T.? Well, I don't know. It means clock time, I guess. No, no. <laughs> That's central time. Oh. Yeah, central standard time. See, Indianapolis is on central standard time, and Cincinnati is on eastern standard time, which means Indianapolis is one hour behind us. An hour behind us, eh? Yeah, I knew he could read one of those there half-wit timetables. Never could make head or tails out of one myself. So you see, Mayor... If we leave Cincinnati at 8.30 and arrive at Indianapolis at 9.20 their time, which is central time, that means it's 10.20 Cincinnati time, which is eastern time, so it took us an hour and 40 minutes to get there. Wait a minute. Leave Cincinnati at 8.30, all right? Arrive 9.20 Indianapolis. But you say that's central standard time, which means it's 10.20 in Cincinnati, which is one hour behind Indianapolis. No, one, one hour ahead of Indianapolis, Mayor. One hour ahead. Which means it's 11.20 in Cincinnati. No, it's 10.20 in Cincinnati. It's only 9.20 in Indianapolis. 9.20 in Indianapolis, all right. 9.20, Indianapolis, 8.30 in Cincinnati. We get there at 10.20. Time changes from Eastern Standard Time to Central Standard Time in Lawrenceburg Junction. And train travels 108 and 9 tenths miles. I'm sitting here in the lounge car trying to figure out if my watch is one hour fast, one hour slow, or you got the right time, and Yuki's telling me that I don't know how to read one of these here timetables. Oof. Oh, Buster. Let's get off this here train and go somewhere where they got the same kind of clocks that we got here in Cincinnati. I think that's the best thing. (laughs) 
Look, Mayor, don't you understand? When we leave Cincinnati, it's 8.30 in the morning. Yeah, I do understand that. I understand that. I'll follow you that far, lad. It's 8.30 in the morning. But it isn't 8.30 in Indianapolis. Yeah, it ain't. What time is it in Indianapolis when it's 8.30 in Cincinnati, lad? 7.30. Right, Big John? Right. That's 100% correct, Sparky, lad. I think. When it's 8.30 in Cincinnati, it's 7.30 in Indianapolis. Okay, I got that. So, then... so when we arrive in Indianapolis at 9.20, that means since we left Cincinnati at 7.30, it took us an hour and 15 minutes to get there. Yeah, but, lad, we didn't leave Cincinnati at 7.30. We left at 8.30. See, it says so right there in the timetable. Yeah, but, Mayor, don't you understand? We're leaving Cincinnati at 7.30 Indianapolis time. Well, so sure what? We're not in Indianapolis. We're in Cincinnati, and it's... And it's, and it's, and it's and, hey, it's 8.30. It's, it's time for the train to leave. Ah, the train is leaving, Mayor. Take a look out the window. See that? We're moving. We're moving. Hey, we are moving. Oh, at last, on our way. On our way to Indianapolis for the big 500-mile Memorial Day race. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> I can't say that I blame the mayor for getting confused on that time zone difference. You see, Eastern Time and uh, Central Time, <laughs> especially when they have daylight saving and Eastern... Di no, I'm like Yuki. I just give up. <laughs> you be sure to be with us each day now as we bring you the further adventures of Big John and Sparky, and you'll find out if Yuki wins the race. Thank you.